Hey, this is Blind Fox. Welcome at my wrestling review. Please support the channel, please subscribe, and please go and donate on Patreon.com. So, today is the dinner part of our Game Ranger Pack Day 2. This is the 2019 one. So, let's see what we will have for dinner. We are going to check out the Super C's. I don't know these, uh, I don't know if there's something wrong because this is supposed to be to go out a bit further sort of like this and this just doesn't want to bend so I'm not going to use this tin opener can opener so before we get started this is the um, fuel tablets you only get four of them for this meal for some reason we will just check out our matches this is normal lion matches you get them everywhere in South Africa they are quite good matches not extraordinarily expensive but you get them everywhere and they are easy to strike so there we go this is the matches you get a whole box of them which is nice all right we are going to do the raisins this is 60 grams worth of it you can of course eat this any time of the day and we are going to do the viennas and beans I wanted to do this with the um, with the lunch, um, the spaghetti and meatballs, but I'm going to see if you can heat a can in a ration heater. It might not work, but we will try. If it doesn't work really, I'll just heat it up in the microwave. This does not have a ring pool, so we have to open this with a tin opener or a can opener. Luckily, we have one. I'm not going to try that other one because it just... It doesn't want to go as far as it should so it doesn't really it's you might be able to struggle to use it but it might just not work nicely every time this might just work but normally you just want it a bit farther out I find then it work better but this you might work but we are gonna try using this ration eater then to heat this up and we're gonna use our fork from the uh, accessory pack. So before we get started, there's some salt and pepper in there, which I'm most likely not gonna use. We get a serviette here, not a very large serviette, only one. So you should not must not be a messy eater. You get sort of one for the whole day. It's not a large one, but at least once you can use it. So we'll put this aside as well. We'll just leave it there and we'll go and heat this up and I will be back. Okay, this specific, specific tin you can't you can you can't put in flat, you have to put in like this because the packet is too small. So I'll put it in like this and see how it works. Might just bend this like this and see. Before we check out the super seas and the um raisin, so let's check out Vienna some beans, this is a bit of beans. I've used the ration heater on this, this is not super... Sorry. Nah. This is not super hot, but it's sort of just um, warm. So let's check out the Vienna. And we have the cat as a visitor. Not super hot because I used a ration heater. The Viennas are nice. The um, beans. There's not a lot of tomato sauce in this. It should be more. It's just a little bit more tomato and flavor. But the Viennas are nice. There's about six of them in there. The beans are fine. So this is not brilliant tomato sauce. In beans and Viennas in tomato sauce. But it's not bad. I would have liked a bit more tomato and a bit more um, spice. Or, sorry, herbiness. Just want to get the cat out of the way. So the ration is that only has didn't make it very hot, but it was. It's still a bit warm. 
So in a pinch you can heat, use a ration heater to heat up a can. Now these um, do lack a bit some herbs for me again as the tomato sauce, um, the spaghetti and meatballs in tomato sauce did. And it lacks a bit of tomatoiness. But it's still, it's a bit bland but you can still eat this. It's not bad. This does not have a slight bite as the meatballing spaghetti head. So let's check out our um, raisins. This smells raisiny. Just, just look, most of this is Thompson's. This one might be OR. So Thompson, you take the grape and you throw it on the uh, uh, cement uh, slab and it dries in the sun naturally. The OR one you first dip into a lye, sort of a lye solution, uh, um, potassium lye solution thing just to um, thin the skin of the grape and then you dry them in the shade on a uh, mats, sort of little raised uh, wire mats stuff. It's mostly dry in the shade. I don't see any that looks light enough to be treated with sulfur. What you do then, you dip the, the grapes also in this lye solution and then you dry them completely in the shade in the presence of sulfur smoke. So let's taste this. Nice and sweet, sultana raisins. Um, no crystallization. The sultanas means actually all the raisins because these are made with sultana grapes. Some people call it Thompson sultanas or the, I'm not sure which ones, but these are all sultanas. Whether it's Thompson dried um, o, uh, or are all the ones treated with sulfur. This is nice. These are not crystallized, haven't crystallized out yet. The sugar sometimes crystallized out because your grapes are so sweet when you make the raisins. Then it's slightly crunchy. There's nothing wrong with them when they are like that. It's just sugar crystallizing, but these haven't had time to crystallize their sugar yet. Now these are the um, Super C's. You get a few of them. There's different flavors. You get orange, you get um, watermelon, you get Grenadella, which is passion fruit. You get not um, Nachi. You get lemon lime. You get strawberry. You get some mandarin, and there's some other flavors that I don't know or don't know about. So let's check out this one. I think this is orange flavor. It looks like it. It might be something else. Yes, this is orange. It smells slightly orangey. It's a hard thing. Sometimes you can break this. You can suck on this for quite a while. When you bite this, this turns to sugar. Very astringent taste, all of them, which is good for your help to question your first. The watermelons, are, some of them are a bit sweet, but these, I like the orange ones. They are nice, citrusy and astringent. So this was our uh, dinner. What did I think of it? The ration eater did work sort of, it doesn't make it pipingly hot, but it's still warm, you can still use it to eat it. The Viennas, very nice and soft, crumbly texture. The beans is fine, it's not, they're not too um, soggy, they're not too mushy. There's, I really like the sausages in this. But it could have been a bit more tomato -y. it could have been a bit more herby, but it's fine. The raisins was nice, hasn't, the sugar hasn't crystallized out yet, and the super seas are good. So that was lunch. Oh, sorry. So that was dinner. And this brings us to the end of our Game Ranger pack, day two, ration review videos. So thanks for watching. Please support the channel, please subscribe, and please go donate on patreon.com. See you at my next ration review.